Let's take a quick look at how we can go about importing third-party LUTs into DaVinci Resolve. So let's minimize, and we can see on the desktop here, I have a folder of 70 different LUTs that I'd like to install. We can see that these are .cube files, which is what we want. We'll go ahead and close that out and make our way back to DaVinci. So in the bottom right-hand corner, we're on the edit page. We can click on this gear icon, and then what we'll want is to come to the color management section. So let's click there in the top left corner. And then near the bottom, we have open LUT folder. Let's go ahead and click on that. We then have an explorer window on windows. And what we would want to do is let's cancel out of here, minimize DaVinci. And let's move this out of the way so we can see our folder and we're just going to drag that from the desktop into that LUT folder. We don't need this anymore. Let's come back to DaVinci and then let's switch over to the color page. And in the top left, we have LUTs. Let's click on that. And then to the list panel, let's right click here and choose to refresh. Now we can see we have this populated our 70 LUTs. Let's expand that out. Let's click on the film emulation. And so we can see everything is showing up here looking pretty good. Let's right click on our node and then we will add a serial node. Let's right click on that and let's be sure that we can load in the new LUTs. Here they are, the film emulation. We'll just randomly choose the first. Well, let's come down a bit. Okay, and so we can see that that's applied to our clip. 